Welcome everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com and I have a color coordinates for you that is perfect for spring. I'll be using five colors for this and they are Fog, Dusty Sage, Golden Locks, Rosy Cheeks, and also Winter Sky. I'll be using my Misty to do my stamping and also inside I have the wide stripes background cling stamp because it has five stripes that I can color. I'm using 80 pound Nina white cardstock and I have cut it to about a six and a half by six so that I can turn it to make a plaid. And before I get this started, I want to make sure that the paper sits in there. And since my stamp will fill up the entire paper, I've added a little bit of adhesive to the back of that. And I'll also be using the sheet that the cling stamp came on to help me add my colors to the stamp. Since this image is solid, I want to make sure I have it really nice and clean. So I'm just using some water and a spray mister, and I'm using a microfiber cloth just to wipe that down. If I have any dust or remnants of anything on there, I won't get a clean image when I go to stamp onto the paper. I'm starting with my first color, which is Winter Sky, and I'm just tapping that onto the top portion. I'll be tapping the ink on first, and once I have that covered, I'll swipe along that image or swipe along that stripe to get a nice swipe look. However your ink looks on the stamp, it will also look on your paper. So I thought this would be a fun way to use the ink and get a nice design as I'm stamping. So next I'm putting the acetate down and I'm covering that third stripe up and I'll get my second color which is Dusty Sage and I'll make sure I ink that up really well before I do that swipe. And if I just did a swipe, I'd probably have some white areas, but by tapping the ink on first before I swipe, I get a nice variation of color on the stamp paper. In between my colors, I can just wipe this off with a paper towel or a baby wipe before I go on to the next color. And when I get to the final bottom stripe at the end, I can just add the color straight on without using my acetate and just hanging that ink pad off the edge. Next, I'll shut the door of my Misty and give this some pressure, and I like to use my sleeve to get a really nice slick surface. So there is my first impression. I can use this for a card, but what I'm gonna do is turn this to the side, and I'll repeat the process of inking my stamp up. And for this one, I'm following the same colors. I'm using the same pattern of colors that I did the first time. It really doesn't matter. You can mix them up at this point. But once you have your stamp inked again, again you'll want to press that down onto the paper really well. And now that we have a plaid background. I've created two panels to work with for this card sample. And this first one is just the stripes in my five colors. And the next one is the plaid. And I have trimmed these both down to a card size so I can put them on my card. This stamp is perfect for creating the stripes. Remember, you could also do diagonals for a completely different look. I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Artful Flower Stamp Set for all the flowers on both of the cards. And I'll be putting these down onto the Misty one at a time so that I don't mix my colors up when I go to the ink them. This first flower will be the winter sky, so I'll also be coordinating my colors of the flowers along with the stripes. And I tapped that, and then I also swiped it since it is a solid image. Once again, I like to use my sleeve to get some really good pressure on the misty window. And when I open this up, I have a really interesting looking flower, and I'll lift this up so you can see it closer. So the ink grabbed part of the stamp a little bit more on one edge and slightly lighter on the other side. For my next flower, my first impression was a little bit too light, so I thought I might twist my ink pad to see if I can get a fun different pattern. So using the Misty is great because I can stamp right back over that first impression, and then I get a really nice variation of color on my next flower. The next step is to stamp the black outlines around all my flowers. As you can see, I've stamped a bunch. Not sure how many I'll be using for my project. But once I have the black outlines done, I can cut these out and start adding them to my cards. Before I adhere these flowers down, I want to add some stems. So I have just placed those stems onto the misty window, inked them with black ink, and now I have a couple fine stems. I'm also using my flower as a guide to stamp my third stem. Now that I have everything ready, it's time for assembly, and I've used a little bit of foam tape to adhere my flowers down onto my first card. 
For both of my cards, I'm using the Simon Says Stamp sentiment strips, and this is the second set that has come out, and I'm using different sentiments for each card. I like to pre-cut mine at quarter inch intervals, and then pick out a sentiment I'd like to use for my cards. So I'll be adding this one with just a little bit of dot tape, and I'll be tucking it right under the flower and right up to that edge, and I'm going to make sure I get that really nicely squared off. So this is a super simple card to make, and for my second card, I've used a little bit of foam tape and I have lifted that sentiment up for a bit of dimension. I am using a white pen and I'll be adding this to the centers of each of those flowers. You could use Nouveau Drops or any, any type of colored pen to fill in those little dots. Here's a look at the first card that I did with the plaid background and the three flowers with the stems and also that sentiment just at the bottom. And my second card with the five simple stripes and a spray of flowers. And then my message just tucked under one of the flowers. I hope I've given you some inspiration using this beautiful set of spring colors for our color coordinates inspiration for this month. Be sure to check the description box below for the link to our blog where I have links to all of the color coordinates to date. And you can print those off and make a swatch book. And as always, I'd like to thank you so much for watching.